When we talk to neuroscience customers, a common request is to connect a syringe to a needle with a long piece of tubing in between. Hamilton recommends using peak tubing and compression fittings to achieve a leak-free system. For this setup, you will need a 100 microliter or smaller syringe with a removable needle, 1 16th of an inch compression fittings, HPLC grade peak tubing, the RN to RN compression fitting, a removable needle of desired gauge and length, mineral oil, and a priming kit. Assemble the peak tubing with the syringe by first removing the RN nut, then thread the nut over the peak tubing. Next, install the peak compression fitting with the large ID upwards. After that, install the PFA ferrule and reassemble the syringe. Follow the same procedure to connect the peak tubing to the RN to RN coupler. Install the needle on the opposite side of the coupler by removing the RN nut, inserting the needle, and reinstalling the nut. The next step is to completely prime the system with liquid. Mineral oil is commonly used for this purpose because it will not mix and dilute the sample that is aspirated into the needle. Aspirate oil into the priming syringe. Then assemble the needle with the septum gently pressed onto the needle. Remove the plunger on the syringe assembly and insert the needle of the priming syringe. Press the septum against the flange to generate a seal and begin dispensing the oil. Continue to flush oil from the needle until all air is removed from the system. This is a critical step to ensure that no compressible air pockets are left in the assembly. Once primed, begin to slowly remove the priming syringe. Continue to dispense oil to fill the remainder of the syringe barrel. Reinsert the plunger. This completes the assembly. The syringe can be inserted into an infusion pump and the RN coupler onto a stereotaxic frame. Aqueous solutions for injection are aspirated into the needle by slowly pulling back on the plunger. Note that pulling back on the plunger too rapidly can result in unwanted air bubbles in the system. Once the sample is successfully aspirated, you are ready to dispense.